Hi guys and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing all the pros and cons about living in New Zealand. These are my personal opinions and things that my husband and I discussed and thought and came up with. Um, you might not agree um, but if you have your own pros and cons please share them down below. If you're new here, I'd love to have you as a viewer. I share loads of videos about life in New Zealand, beauty content, recipes, life as a mom, and I'd love to have you as a viewer. So please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video. Okay, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with the cons. Um, it'll be good to get that out of the way and then I'll head into the pros at the end of the video. Okay, so some of the cons, I think it's also really important to think about the cons first because thinking about the things that you're gonna miss the most is really, really useful when you're starting to plan your journey overseas. Um, and yeah, it's good to keep those things in mind and be realistic. So I think that's why I will start with the cons. Okay, so the first con that I have is that New Zealand is very, very far from most places in the world. Um, there are some benefits to that, but in terms of the negatives, you are far from your family, especially if you're from South Africa. It takes 23 hours to get back to SA, um, and you're also far from a lot of the travel hubs of the world. Yeah, there are also benefits of being far as well um, from like worldwide pandemics um, and things that often affect the world a lot quicker than what it would affect us here in New Zealand. <clears throat> the next con is a lengthy wait for any specialist appointments that you have here in New Zealand. So if you're part of the public health care system, you often wait um, between 8 to 10 weeks to see a specialist, which can be quite frustrating, um, but is part of the journey here in New Zealand. So if you're terminally ill or if you get a terminal illness, this can be quite um, detrimental, um, but it is just a reality with um, New Zealand healthcare taking care of so many people. Um, for free um, so it's just something to bear in mind as well the other thing that can be a disadvantage is schooling is zoned so your child will attend a school in the zone in which you live this may not be a good thing you may have some schools that you don't want your child to attend but they have to attend because they're in the zone um, for that school and you may not be in the zone for the school that you want your child to attend. So often people have to move to more expensive places if they want to go to a specific school and that can cost a lot of money so it can be quite a con. The next thing to bear in mind is that food and housing is really expensive here in all of the major cities. I know I get heaps and heaps of comments on my food hauls um, that they cannot believe how expensive food is here in New Zealand which is interesting because a lot of our products are grown here um, and housing in particular in Auckland and in the major cities is very expensive and um, you can be clever about your housing but it also means that you end up with a little bit of a detriment for certain other things um, so yeah and it's really expensive to buy a house um, especially for first-time homeowners it can be quite um, scary we have not purchased a house yet everybody thought and so did we we thought that it would be a lot easier to purchase a house once you become resident but it is extremely 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 expensive um, and coming from a foreign country to New Zealand it makes it a little bit more difficult because we haven't been working in this currency so that can be a big con as well to give you an idea um, houses in Auckland range from $800,000 all the way to $3 million. $800,000 in the greater scheme of things is 8 million rand and then you're buying something that's old and needs renovating um, and a lot of upkeep. So it's a lot of money to purchase a house here. The next um, thing that is a bit of a con is that it can be really cold and rainy. I don't know if you can see the weather outside but it is really wet and cold today. Um, in Auckland it rains so much it's very similar to Cape Town except that it absolutely pours and pours and pours and because in Auckland we have ocean around us quite a bit of ocean around us we get that hectic wind that comes through as well so the weather can be quite miserable in the winter but the summer is absolutely amazing I know in different parts of the country it's a lot drier during the winter and sunny but it's a lot colder so we are in one of the warmer places in New Zealand but it's still cold <laughs> especially as a Durbanite it is quite cold for us I would say it is probably as cold as about Joburg in Auckland um, but with the added rain and wind and wet winters um, so that's yeah it's, I know it affects me a lot um, it affects my mood and 
I don't enjoy the winter at all. The next con is any imported goods can be really expensive to buy and of course that is because it takes a lot more money to ship things to New Zealand so purchasing things um, overseas is a lot more expensive for us because shipping is quite expensive but even buying things in New Zealand which have been imported can be really pricey. Um, I know as a South African I love my Omar Rusks, I'm sure you've heard about my cravings for pregnancy has been Omar Rusks. Um, and I love my peppermint crisp tart and things like that. But for example, a peppermint crisp chocolate is five dollars. So that's fifty rand for a peppermint crisp. And a box of Omo oh, and a box of Omo rusks is ten dollars. Um, I think some places eleven dollars now. So that's hundred and ten rand just for a box of rusks. So I'm not too sure what prices are like in South Africa at the moment. But in terms of prices here in New Zealand, your average chocolate is about a dollar. Um, so it's five times more expensive buying imported goods. The next con, especially here in Auckland with all the wet weather, is mould. Mould is a big problem here in New Zealand and it is also the result of why so many people here have asthma. Um, we have these things called mould spores in the air here, which um, tends to bring up asthma in a lot of people. My son never had asthma before we moved to New Zealand and he now has asthma. Um, and it doesn't run in Viv's side or my side either. Um, so we were quite surprised when he was diagnosed with asthma. Um, there's mold um, in most places here in New Zealand because of the wet weather. So there's lots of things you can do to combat the mold. But when you're looking for a house, be sure to check every nook and cranny for mold because it can appear really like this overnight. So do your best just to check that there's no mold anywhere. The last con that I have to share with you is that the privacy Private health um, items cost a little bit more, a lot, can be quite expensive. So when I talk about private health, I'm talking about dentistry, um, your contacts, your eyeglasses, and things like that that are not covered by the public health system. Dentistry is extremely expensive. Um, it can be about 250 to $350 for a filling. That's two and a half thousand rand to three and a half thousand rand for one filling. Um, so it's really, really expensive. Um, I know eyeglasses can be about $300, so that's 3,000 rand. And these are things that are not covered. Even if you go and get private health insurance, I was speaking to a friend of mine who has been works in the industry, um, she's saying it's not worth it at all. She only has it because um, he works there. Um, so things can be like um, you get maybe a thousand dollars allowance for dentistry a year and for specialists but that can be used like that as well so sometimes it's not worth it either. So now to get on to the more positives and the pros of life in New Zealand and um, before I start the pros I just want to say we absolutely love life here um, we really miss our family and we wish we could bring them here to us and to be with us here because we know they would love it just as much as us but we absolutely love life here and if you're South African the culture is really similar to home. Um, the people are super friendly. People bra like we do. Um, they love rugby like we do. They love cricket like we do. So um, yeah, you really do fit in quite a bit as a South African here. So one of my main pros, and I'm sure for a lot of you as well, is the safety in New Zealand. It is extremely safe here. Don't get me wrong, there are there is crime and there are incidences where there are things that occur, um, but it's very rare in comparison to South Africa. It also depends on the area in which you live in here in New Zealand. Certain areas are a lot safer, but for the vast majority, life is very safe here. Murder and rape and things like that are very unheard of here. Um, and when it does occur, it becomes huge news. Um, but there are things like little break-ins, car break-ins every now and again. But those are chance takers and it is not often at all. Um, so it's very, very safe here. We feel extremely safe. We don't have an alarm system. Um, you know, I go out at night by myself to the shopping center and I have my wallet in my hand and I don't feel like um, I need to be worried. So there's nothing where people come to you and will like harm you to get anything from you. If they're going to break into your car, it's because you've left it open, unlocked. So they won't necessarily break a window. That's quite rare as well. Um, and if you, they break into your house, it's when you're not there. Um, and it's very rare. Like it's never happened to us yet. So cross fingers. I know it has happened to some people here um, and they've had negative experiences but it is quite rare here in New Zealand. The other benefit is free schooling. I mean isn't that just amazing? Um, your kids can attend school and it is really good quality.
quality education and the schooling systems are fabulous. I really enjoy the curriculum. I've said this before, but it's my favorite curriculum out of all the curriculums that I've taught and I've taught in four. And I just feel like it's really, really balanced. Kids are allowed to be kids and they are developed holistically as a human being and to become a better member of society rather than just in subject knowledge. Of course, they get their subject knowledge, but the development of the person is really important. And I think that's so amazing. Um, the other benefit that we have here is we have free healthcare if you're on specific visas and in my experience the healthcare has been fabulous. I am pregnant with our second child. Um, I had to have an emergency visit to the hospital and it was completely wonderful. Like they made me feel so at ease. Um, they tended to me. My results were quick. Um, and they really looked after me um, and my midwife is amazing I don't pay for my midwife my scans have been good and yes I do pay for some of my scans and I do a co-payment but the vast majority of everything is covered my son is sick I take him to the doctor I don't pay for his doctor visits um, I don't pay for his medicine unless it's something that's not covered and that's very rare um, for adults we do pay a premium um, when we go into our doctor and that again depends on the area that you live in um, but it's really small and for example my husband broke his toe um, and he got a free moon boot um, he paid for his entire like toe saga he broke his big toe um, he ended up paying I think $40 for everything so that's x-rays specialist visits moon boots uh, the whole shebang and that was all that it cost him so you really are well looked after here and your tax money definitely goes to a good place the next real pro here is the fresh air i remember when we first moved here i remember phoning my mom and saying mom everything smells like flowers it is so strange the air is so fresh and i know there's a lot of new zealanders with, who would beg to differ but yeah go anywhere else that we've been and the air here is just out of this world it is fresh um, it's it's like if you go to the Drakensberg and you smell the air in the Drakensberg, it's like that all the time. The air is really amazing here. Um, and there's just, yeah, it's so beautiful. Um, the next thing I would say is the fresh food is really amazing, although it'd be expensive. I know a lot of people grow their own food at home. I just, I am terrible. I have no green thumb. I suck with growing vegetables and fruit. Um, so we don't grow our own, but I know a lot of people do, but the fresh fruit and vegetables is unbelievable. The lamb is fantastic. The steaks are fantastic. I know for South Africans, that's really important. Um, but yeah, in, like in comparison to Dubai it, and South Africa, even the meat, some of the meat here is better than the meat that we've had in South Africa. Um, it's really good quality. Um, the cow, like the livestock and the um, fruit and veg are grown really, um, I wouldn't say organically, but it probably is organically. Um, but it's just, yeah, everything is just of such high quality, which is amazing. Um, the next thing I would say that is a really big pro here is it's multicultural here, especially in Auckland, um, and people are extremely accepting in our circumstance. Now, I know some people have not had that experience. One of my really good friends has not had a very accepting experience from people, um, and she said um, where she works, it can be quite clicky, which um, can be quite hor horrible and difficult. Um, but I think it depends on your workplace, um, but in general, the people are really friendly, they try to make a conversation with you when you're at the shops, um, you know, people are really like, oh, your son is so cute, you know, how old is you? he, would you like a hand, can I help you, and you feel safe enough to accept that help, which is awesome, especially as a young mom, um, and now that I'm pregnant, I really need the extra help sometimes, so it's really, really nice to have that option too. Um, with the multicultural, we literally have cultures from all over the world in Auckland. I know it's not like that in the rest of the country from what I hear, um, but it is, yeah, we have literally, we have heaps and heaps and heaps of South Africans in Auckland. Um, I know Hamilton is quite a lot of South Africans as well, and we have lots of people from India, from the Seychelles, um, from the Philippines, from China, and from the States, from Canada. Um, and yeah, people just really enjoy life here in New Zealand. It's really calm, except not really in Auckland. Auckland's quite busy still. So it's almost like the Joburg of South Africa, I would say, in terms of busyness. Um, 
The next thing that was a big pro for me when and my family when we moved here was that it's a very similar culture to South Africa. I've already touched on that a bit, um, but it, there's a lot of stuff that reminds you of South Africa, which is really nice, especially when you're missing home. Um, there's lots of South African products. There's lots of South African stores. There's nothing I really would like anyone to bring back from South Africa for me because it's all accessible and readily um, accessible here in New Zealand and um, the culture is really South African I could call it that they would say it's a Kiwi culture but you know they wear slops in the in the summer they wear their they call them jandals um, they live at the beach in the summer which is what we do um, you know they love to bra or barbecue as they call it um, they love water sports they love being in the outdoors so that's really very similar to South African culture and the place is very similar to South Africa. So we've got our mountains, we've got our ocean. It's beautiful like South Africa. Um, I would beg to differ that it's probably more beautiful than South Africa in some places. Um, although there's elements of South Africa that is just so beautiful as well. One of the other benefits that I would say um, in, in, New, in Auckland in particular, and I know in some of the other big cities, is the public transport. Now, I know lots of people from overseas might not say that our public transport here is good, but coming from South Africa, the public transport is phenomenal. Um, we can catch a train to most places or a bus to anywhere pretty much. There are also intercity buses, so I could catch a bus from here to Hamilton or from here to Wellington, but there is a lot of options in terms of um, public transport. It's also affordable, um, and if you, for example, live outside of the city, but you work in the city, I know of a lot of people who buy long-term passes for going into the city, so that's also an option as well, and it's really cost-effective. I know there's lots of people who disagree, but in our experience from South Africa, it is mind-blowingly different um, and it's really great because it's exciting for our kids to go out on public transport and see the like experience the things that they're seeing um, at school or on TV and um, like buses and trains and for little boys it's like a big hoo-ha you know so yeah it's really cool the other benefit if you are a New Zealand resident is the Kiwi Saver and this is something you can opt in or opt out for we opted in it's basically like your retirement fund here in New Zealand except everybody gets it it's not just government employees um, and you choose how much you want to um, put into your Kiwi Saver each month or to come off your salary. So you could choose 3%, 5%, or 8%, and you can change that as much as you like. I also know that after three years, if you haven't bought a home, you can withdraw your Kiwi Saver as a deposit and um, the amount that you've saved for three years and use that towards your deposit as a first time home buyer, which is a great benefit as well. Um, but it's a really good way for us to plan for the future without even having to do anything. The other real pro about living here is there's so much to do that's free. Um, the parks are free and of amazing quality. I'm also planning on making a video all about the parks here in New Zealand. So if you'll be interested about that, please let me know down below. Um, there's lots of free activities to do here on weekends and free events. Um, and what's also really cool, I know that in South Africa, a lot of the time, um, if there's something that's free that's on, you have to buy the food at that place. Here in New Zealand, I find that it's not like that. You can take your own food along and it's not a big deal. Unless it's a big show and concert that's like international stars and stuff, that's different. Um, but if it's a local thing, you can take your own food along. Um, I know my son and I recently went to the Auckland Museum here in the school holidays and it was free entry for us because we could prove that we live in Auckland. Um, and it was absolutely phenomenal. And we were allowed to take our own food with, which is kind of unheard of in a public place um, in South Africa. So that was really cool as well. Um, but there's lots of things to do for free. I have made a video about this before, so I'll link that down below for you. The other really cool thing that I think we speak about quite often in our family is that um, there are no dangerous animals in New Zealand. Um, and you can explore the outdoors without fear of being bitten by a snake or um, being chased by a lion or anything like that. Not that that happens in South Africa, but you can get bitten by snakes um, quite often. Um, so that's really awesome that we don't have any dangerous animals really here. Um, the most dangerous thing we really have are sharks, which is rare, and um, spiders. We have, I think it's called the white... Yes, yeah, so the most dangerous thing we have here is a white-tailed spider, which can give you a bit of a headache and can make you a little bit sick. 
but that's about it um otherwise there are no dangerous animals all right guys i hope you found this video super useful and if you have any of your own pros and cons please share them down below especially if you've been living in new zealand a while and you're from south africa i know south africans love to hear from us um or if you're from england or if you're from anywhere in the world really just share where you're from and share your experiences because it really helps those people in your home countries to figure out whether or not they really want to make the move here um and yeah what the amazing parts of New Zealand are. Alright guys, I will see you in my next one.